so <clears throat> I'm gonna open these two packs. Still would like a prismatic rare or a win. Doesn't really matter. I mean, I have a rare win s somewhere. I went to my target. I really want to get another uh, Permarina GX. So bad. She's just so pretty. I want three of. Oh yeah, I sleep them all. I found a pack of 50 magic sleeves I had gotten. She's just, oh my gosh, I don't know. I threw away some top load and stuff, but I'm hoping I can find another one because I just want it. Mm. It's so gorgeous. I'm not even sure anymore who I prefer. Her or Sylviana's number one. Ugh. Similar onslaught. Oh my god. This feels like yesterday. Number 29, Mannequin Cat. Rescue, Interlacer. Dream Mirror Fantasy. Mayo Senju, Hitot. Vic Viper, T301. Mm. Beat Raptor. Mayo Senju's Sword Sting. Link back. I really would like a booster box of this. <sighs> or just like another booster box in the channel. Hmm. And I re reformatted my Hugo binder again. Oh, nuts. Okay. Simorg Burger of protection. Simorg Sky Battle. Bear Cataborg Blocker. Hypernova Burst. Fortune Lady Past. Whoa. This card's attack and defense 200. Once per turn, increase this by one. Target one fortunately monster you control. Banish any number of Increase or reduce that monster's level by number of monsters banished until the end of this turn. Only use this effect of fortunately passed. <sighs> so. Mm, I mean. It's cool. She's a dark one tuner. It's pretty turn during your standby phase. I mean, this probably really works in a fortune lady deck, but I wish it was like 400. Because the most, first off, is only 2,400, and that's a smidgen low. And 12 standby phases. I'm not sure she could last that long, but it's pretty. Italian Lamia, Cross the Bug, Similar Repulsion, Kinkigashi. Ucho. Okay, I'm gonna put these in the packs. E. Hopefully, I can find good booster box. What is the, what would the MSRP of a booster box be? What would let's just say the average? Because if you go on Yu Yu, for some reason they make booster packs. 399 so would it be 24 times 399 that's the standard price or it would be cheaper because you're buying in bulk I would really like to know what the answer is sorry okay so yeah hopefully I have a top loader or something so here I love how I did this First, I had a problem <coughs> with, 
if I only had used the Dragon Shields for Yu-Gi-Oh cards, they would just simply fall out, doing a little shaking and stuff. So that's why I double sleep them, but it gets like really tight and I'm afraid it, they would go from like flat to a little, uh, like sort of bent and stuff because you have this holding it down, you have two layers pushing it up, so then it would all bring it down. And these were really thick if it was if you had one double sleeved and one double sleeved on like that. So now I have it where first I like how these fill in the spots of my empty cards because it just looks so neat. But there's enough pressure. Pretty sure the dragon shield sleeves help with this because they are supposedly a little bit on the thick side. Of sleeves I put one in and centered it as best I could then I put one immediately back in it and they both hold really well if you double sleeve with two drawing shields it does make it a little murky the artwork and so I only use one sleeve and I like it that way. I wish they were Japanese sized binder pages. And I wish I could get a bit longer binder because once it's fully closed, I mean, they stick out a little. I mean, maybe it's just because how this one did the binder ring. It's a bit drastic, almost. A little, probably 50 to 60 degrees angle. It should be a little higher to help that. Also, a couple days ago, I forgot, and I've been wanting to do, I got this half price books for a dollar. They are having a big sale, and I look through just on a whim. I was never really into comics and stuff, but it just caught my attention black probably super dark blue hair maybe blue eyes fathom and I mean look at this cool look at that so yeah thanks for watching see ya again